Hello and welcome to an amazing journey into space. We are on our way in 3, 2, 1. Based on the knowledge and skills you acquired during the basic course, the company board selected you to be the engineer who will go to outer space to model some of the space systems developed and used by NASA. So welcome to the course Advanced Model-Based Systems Engineering with OPM. During this course, you will learn how to model complex systems in various domains using OPM. The systems used by NASA will serve us for most of the course. It is not a coincidence that OPM has already been used by organizations such as NASA, who are at the forefront of developing socio-technical systems. In the basic course, you have learned how to model the top abstract level of the system and its first level of detail. Throughout the advanced course, we will learn how to model important details at deeper levels of the system. To do this, we will study new, more complex constructs of both structure and behavior. A quick reminder from the basic course. The structure of a system is its static, time-independent aspect. We represent it in OPM using objects and structural links. The behavior of a system is its dynamic aspect, which is represented by processes and procedural links these connect processes with the objects they transform. The combination of the system structure and behavior is the system's architecture, which enables the system to function and provide value to its beneficiaries. A complex system is not an ordered sequence of predefined processes. It does not operate in a linear fashion. Rather, in complex systems, different conditions, decisions and events can cause totally different behaviors and lead to different system states. Therefore, it is important to include in the system model each condition, decision, and event. For example, the launch center approves the launch of a spacecraft from Earth if the spacecraft and its launch rocket are functional. The wind is below some threshold and the launch area is clear. If, however, there is any problem with the required conditions for launching the spacecraft, then the launch center will delay or abort the launch. Processes can recur or terminate based on events. In the example of launching a spacecraft, a delay in launching will restart the process of checking the launch complex, while approval will trigger starting the spacecraft launching process. Timing and probability of events also play roles in the behavior of systems we will learn how to integrate such advanced details into our OPM model. This way, we will achieve high fidelity of the model with respect to the actual system. Real-life systems are complex not just in the way they behave, but also in how they are structured. Different parts of the system can appear more than once and can be connected in various ways. Sometimes it is also important for us to model the layout of parts of an object in our system. Finally, we will go through the entire model-based systems engineering process, starting with defining the problem through modeling potential solutions, all the way to the system design review. So, good luck in NASA. You will do a lot of training there, so that your stay in space will be enjoyable and beneficial. Oh, I almost forgot. Hopcat is coming on the journey with you. You didn't think we would leave him on Earth, did you?